hello guys you're welcome to photographics academy all right so we are have we have something very interesting for you today we are going to be learning how to do a full beauty retouching in 10 minutes just 10 minutes and we'll have high-end results and the beautiful part of it is that the actions we're going to be using for the video we are giving it out for free for free high-end action to give you a high-end result in 10 minutes all right so without wasting your time let's get started so the first thing I'm going to be doing is I need to crop the image 8 by 10. So I'll just crop it like this. I just want to get that face, just the face in my shot. So I'll just take this composition, pick it up like this, just like this a little. Maybe we should do it in a portrait mode. Okay, so I think I prefer it like this. All right, so just crop this in. So I'll use the face, to, the hand to build in the frame. Okay, so press enter. And wait for it to load up and we are good all right so i think i'm having too much of the arm over here i think i need to take this away a little more press enter and remember the image we're probably giving it out for free so you can rehearse and practice every single thing we're going to be learning okay so the first thing we'll be doing is to take care of the blemishes so to do that just create a blank a black and white adjustment layer just like that take out take down your reds a little get your background layer so i'll just immediately go over the blemishes and take care of them just quickly all right so just quickly go over your blemishes and take care of it i'm actually using my spot healing brush too to do this you can decide to use your patch tool or any other tool that takes care of your blemishes anyone you prefer to use I think this will work perfectly for me. Okay, so like this. Get a bit smaller for those areas. So any other thing that remains, we can, we can as well fix that later towards the end of the video using our clone stamp. So for now, we are focused on the ones that will affect our end result. So just take your time and take care of the blemishes. See this one over the nose, see the one on her forehead. Let's just make this a bit bigger. Beautiful. Okay, so when you are done, just delete the black and white adjustment layer and we are good to go. So this is before, I think I'm still having a little bit of blemishes over here. I can use my clothes stamp to fix that. To fix that, take it down like this. Just paint over like this so to not make the video become too long i'm going to work with the image just the way it is now but make sure in your own while practicing you take care of your blemish take your time to clean every single thing out so you get a perfect result okay so let's get straight to work now well, this is the action we're going to be using remember it's for free all you need to do is just watch through the video to get the password. All right, so just click over here and press enter or play. And it's going to just load up the action for us in a matter of few seconds. So let's wait for it. Bam. Okay, so we are done. We open it, pick up your brush too. Open the group. Go straight to your, go straight to paint here. This one over here paint here zoom on your image and start taking care of the image you don't necessarily need to need to avoid the edges and the textures it would it will take care of it even without you having to be very careful make sure your flow is 100 so you'll be seeing the maximum effect at one stroke so like this okay so it might appear like nothing is happening in the image until you zoom out and look at the before and after and it will amaze you the level of results you've been able to achieve in few minutes or in few seconds just like that so i think i, I wouldn't need it over the nose because it's crushing my highlights so i would want to protect the highlight so i wouldn't paint too much over the nose so here like this Just like that.
Sí. Su uva de am y yeah. So if you think you're not satisfied with the result, there's one more thing we can do. There's one more thing we can do. We can go over to the extreme right here. So what you do, all you just need to do is to copy this mask and place it over this one to assume the same mask. So if there are areas you think is now extreme, you can just take your black brush and paint it out of those places. So I think I need it. I think it's quite too much over the nose. So I'll just remove it a little. Okay, look at the cheek. Or rather, let's just drop down the general opacity of that particular one. Okay, so this is before. Let me just show you. This is before, this is after. This is before, this is after. But I think this is too much over the nose. So I'm going to drop it down over the nose like this. So this is before, this is off, after. Still a bit too much. Yeah, like that. Have it just a little more over here. Okay, so one more thing you can do is that you can go into the groups and modify and modify each of the individual layers. So let's just look at exactly the layer that is having the highest effect on our image. So we'll have this here, have this here, have this here. Okay, so this is the exact one responsible for the level of smoothness we'll have in our image. So we can drop it down here and we are good. So this is before, this is after. Just subtle changes and we are having amazing results. All right. so. I think it's a little bit too much in the lips as well. So we need to take it down in the lips just a little more like that. And we are good to go. So the next thing we are going to be doing is that we are going to be applying dodging and burning on the image. Of course, you can take your, you can actually use your clone stamp, take care of few, to take care of few textures over the image like this. Go to your high texture and just paint over the textures that are a bit too extreme for the image like that. I think I didn't need that texture there. So you can just clean up your images using this technique. Like this. Beautiful. I think I want to clean the, the parts, this part of the lips like this. Okay, so I'm having a little color spill from the lips here. So we'll just clean that a little nice. Just take your time and make sure you have a perfect result. So I think this needs to go down a little more. Just like that. Beautiful. Okay, so just go around your image to make sure your uh your blemishes are properly taken care of or your skin textures are in order. Just like this. Having a little more over there. Okay, we are good. So this is before. This is after. 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 So the next step I'm going to be running on the image is our dodge and burn. So just play the action and bam, it's already done. So take up your brush. You can take it down to somewhere around 25 and gradually paint it over your image like this. Gradually paint it over your image like this. Just gradually paint it before, after, before, after. Of course, you can go and bring down the opacity if you think it's too much for your image. And we are good to go. So this is before, this is after. You can actually open the groups to assess the individual folder. So I think our, excuse me, I think our bond is not strong enough. So I'm just going to increase the opacity a little like that. So this is before, this is after. We need to drop down the uh exposure the opacity of the dodge just a little more so this is before this is after this is before this is after in few minutes we are able to create high-end results so this is the overall before and after you can actually hold your alternate key and click on any of them is going to minus it for you and you'll be seeing the individual layers the way they are so this was the image when we came into photoshop this is it when we finish our retouching this is it after dodging and burning. So there is one more thing we can do. This one is a free tip just to soften out the skin a little more. So I need you to press Ctrl Shift Alternate E. Ctrl Shift Alternate E. Press Ctrl J. Press Ctrl J. 
press Ctrl I, change your blend mode to vivid light, go to your filter, go to order, go to high pass. So this is where we are going to be affecting the skin smoothness. So I'm just going to be placing it somewhere around 15 to have a very beautiful skin smoothness. Press OK, go back to your filter, go to blur, go to Gaussian blur. So we're going to be doing something around three. So this is the one that is responsible for how sharp and how much of the details is going to retain. So I think the three is too small, so we'll try four. So I think four is cool. Press OK, hold your alternate and create a mask for it. Take your brush and start painting over your skin. Just a little like that. You don't need to do too much so it doesn't look waxed out. But it's going to look good. Just like that. So just take your time paint over the image like this. And we'll have a very clean image. So remember, this last one was a bonus tip. If you stay to the to this part of uh, to this part of the video, this particular one is a bonus tip for you. All right. So remember, the actions we are using in this video are totally for free. We are giving it out for free. All of them totally for free. So just watch till the end to get the password, and you are good to go. So I think I need to just paint over the nose a little like that beautiful okay so just like that clean up the skin like that nice all right we're good to go so let's look at the before and after i think i need it a little more here just a little more over here like this so this is before this is after this is before this is after so this is the overall before and after of the video so this was the of the image rather this was the image when we entered photoshop this is it after retouching before after before after so a little thing we can do i notice that i'm losing a bit of my skin color so looking at it I, i'm losing a bit of my skin color so let's just quickly fix the skin color so we'll go to selective color over here go to your reds you can decide you can move it left and right to see exactly what is going to be doing to your skin so i think i like more of the reds so I'm just going to, going to add a little of the reds. Then do the same thing for the magenta. Just add a little. I don't think I need that in the image. So let's go to the yellows. I need to, I need it a little warm like that. Beautiful. So next, next thing we're going to be doing is to go into the colors again. Select your yellows and check out the effects on your image like that. So I don't think I need the magenta for anything. So we can go to our photo filter and add a little warming tone to it. You can, of course, decide to make it a little bit uh, desaturated or look kind of a porcelain skin. Maybe something around a cooling filter, then drop it down a little like that. Beautiful. One more thing we are going to be doing to the image is that we are going to be converting the skin tone into a porcelain effect to make it have that rich white skin tone. So, and to do that, we are going to create one more stamp visible layer. Ctrl Shift Alternate E. Go straight into your camera roll. Very quick. Very quick, come down to your color mixer, go to your saturation, pick your oranges and take it down a little. Nice. Pick up your highlights and take it, your luminosity and take it up a little. And this is how you can quickly achieve your porcelain skin. So I think I love it. I love it like this. Maybe a little bit of the colors. Yeah, like that. So I think I love it like this. Just a little bit of the reds in the leaves. So you can increase the saturation of the reds to make the lips pop out. So you can pick this eyedropper to and target just the lips and increase the saturation. Look at the way it's increasing the saturation on the lips and on the hand as well. Remember to still take down your oranges just a little. Maybe bring down the reds a little more to make it matte and press OK. So we are very good to go. So this is the image when we entered Photoshop. Before, after, before, after. A little bit of effect. I think I need a little contrast to it. So just go to your levels, add a little contrast to the image and make it shine out and we are good to go. Thank you for watching this amazing video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't equally forget to click the notification button to get notified every single time we drop a new video. See you on our next video. Remember, the actions are free. See you.